is the RuneScape Premier Club worth it? That's what we're going to discuss in this video today. Now, a full disclosure, I have received the Premier Club Gold for 12 months for free from Jagex themselves, and I have also purchased one myself. Now, this is not a sponsored video, and they are not paying for my opinion on this. This is my own free will and free speech. They have just given me one as a thank you for being a content creator. Now, I also bought my own one for my alt account, which is the Mad Maxed account. With the disclaimer out of the way, I have not been a Premier Club member since the very first one, which is how I ended up with this armor here. It was a very, very long time ago, and I'm guessing they have changed and reformed the process of doing this over the years. So let's go through and see what you actually get for becoming a Premier Club member. For this video, we are going to specifically be focusing on the Gold Premier Club rewards. Now, this one here is going to cost you $89.99 in Australian currency. You will have to obviously work that out in your own currency because it's different depending on where you live. But for the purpose of this video, we will use the Australian currency just to make it easier to understand everything. So we've got 12 months of membership, 150,000 loyalty points, the artifact, the cosmetic armor, the pet, the premier pass yak track rewards, extra monthly rewards, additional key per day, premier club reward token, rune metrics discount, ottomans, we've got the vault access, the world access, a free boss instance per week, 100 bank space and an in-game chat badge. Now, I believe there is something that's not on here, which I believe they are giving us an extra loot scape reward if we are a premier club member and we do watch the Twitch stream. I think that might be something that's just not on this list that is included. But out of all of this, the thing that stands out to me straight away is this Premier Pass Yak Track Rewards. Now, last year we had four Yak Tracks and I believe they're doing the same thing into 2021. So let's say there is another four Yak Tracks. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically RuneScape's version of a Season Pass. And in order to access the premium side of the Season Pass, you will need to spend two bonds so in total that is eight bonds per year and you are getting that free with this premier pass so let's go over to the website and work out how much that would actually cost me so here we are on the runescape store and we can see that three bonds is 23 dollars and five bonds is 39 which gives us our eight so 39 plus 23 plus two that's going to cost $64 just to get those bonds. And the Premier Club is $89. So if we do $89.99 minus $64, we're paying $25 for our membership. Now divide that by 12. You are paying $2.10 Australian per month for your membership. Regardless of all this other stuff, just with that one thing there alone, you're paying $2. What? $2 for your membership. On top of that, you're going to receive additional keys per day. So an additional key times 365. Again, let's work it out. Let's say for purpose sake, you don't play obviously 365 days. You only play 200 days. Well, that is another $57 worth of value. So you've got your 58 plus 64 equals 122 and you haven't even paid for your membership yet. That's how crazy this is. Over the course of the 12 months, you are going to get 12,000 ottomans for free, which is going to be quite a bit of the bonus XP in the stars or lamps. Plus you get access to the vault and the well. Like these are all extra things. Just within these two things, the premier pass and the keys, you have paid more than what you have actually got in value here, which is insane, effectively making your membership free. So let's just recap. You've got yourself $57 in keys, you've got yourself $64 in bonds, and you've also got yourself 12 months of membership. On top of that, you've also got the rest of the rewards. So I personally think, as you can tell, that this is 100% worth it. But what if we looked at this from the other angle where you're buying it using in-game bonds? In order to buy the gold membership, you would need 20 bonds and currently they are selling for 33 million GP each, which puts it around 660 million GP. Now, of those 20 bonds, we can actually minus eight of those for the premier pass of the Yak Track. So we're technically only needing 12. You do have to put up 20 up front, but you're saving bonds in the long run. 
So what is 12 times 33 million? That is 396 million GP. 396 million GP divided by 365 days, it's costing you 1 million GP per day to have the Premier Pass for a whole year. Again, very much worth it. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking 600 million GP is a lot to quickly get, but all you have to do is go to Angel of Death or any of the higher tier PVMing bosses and you can literally get this in almost one drop. You could get it from doing clue scrolls if you get lucky and get a shadow die or any of the dies you should be able to pay for this literally within one drop. You have 365 days to get to that amount of money. It sounds like a lot and I completely understand that, but it is not impossible to actually do this in game and fund yourself free premium membership without paying real life money in game. So once again, I want to say a huge thank you to Jagex for the free Premier Club membership for the year for Laser Shark. And again, I did buy my own for the other account, Mad Max. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the Premier Club reward token as well as the Premier Artifact. I believe this Umbral chest was just an extra reward. I don't think that's actually included in this don't quote me on that but i believe it's just these two that you normally get from the premier club so we can open this and this will give us access to the previous rewards that you could get from the uh premier club and we're able to choose one of these items so if you want the steam pack retro teleport retro dre green screen gray skin onyx skin um, you can choose any of these items, but I do believe you only get one of them. So make sure that you do choose the thing that you really want. So obviously there is a bunch of pets that we can choose as well. Now on Mad Max, I went and got myself some wings because I really wanted some wings for him. So I got the, uh, the blood blade wings because I always thought they look really, really cool. Now, if you don't know what any of these are, make sure you go to the wiki and you look them up first, which is what I'm about to do. I'm going to choose one of these and we will see which one I want. Okay, here we are on the wiki and these are the items that we can go for. So all of the past Premier Club items should be on here, which I think that looks really cool. The Duskwing outfit. Um, these are the wings that I got for Max because I really thought they looked pretty brutal and I liked them so I put them on there as well. I think the item that I'm gravitating to for laser is this Duskwing outfit or possibly uh, one of these pets down here. Like I really like the T-Bone companion. That looks really cool. Uh, in terms of the weapon overrides, mm, nothing really sticks out to me there that I really care about. The headgear, I've already got the clown outfit. I've got most of these actually. So I think, oh, what a tough choice. That's also really cool. The Majorat outfit. Um, ooh, let's go, because the T-Bone Companion's really cool as well, but I don't know, this Majorat outfit and this one here, I think, I think I might go the Majorat outfit. I, I, yeah, I really like that. Let's go for the Majorat uh, transform. It's an emote. Uh, it requires the full Majorat outfit equipped to be formed. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go, we've got the Majorat outfit. Let's go and redeem that. And yes, are you sure you wish to unlock the Majorat outfit? Yes, I do. Congratulations, you have unlocked this item. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely happy with my choice. That looks wicked. I love this outfit. Well done, whoever came up with this one, whoever designed this one, but that is definitely worth the token in my opinion. That looks sick. This is the actual outfit that comes with the Premier Club and I, it's interesting. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this outfit that actually comes with the Premier Club. I don't know. I think it might be the helmet. I think the rest of the body could go really well with some other stuff, but it might just be the helmet throwing me off. But it's interesting is what I've got to say about that. Although Ozzy the Osprey, that is a cool looking pet. I like that. How See, his helmet just does more justice than that. It just seems to be more fitting, especially because it's like a feather on his head. And I like that. That pet is really cool in my opinion. Uh, again, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the pet and the armor. But I definitely like the pet. The armor I'm not completely sold on. Although it would be funny if it was called Ozzy and it was a bat. If you guys know the reference there, if you know, you know. 
Okay, let's open up this umbral chest again. I don't know if this is actually part of it, but let's just open it in this video. Anyway, we're going to open it and claim the reward, which is going to be a... What's it going to be? Should be something pretty good because obviously these chests are the best in game. We've got one lucky fast here kite shield. I don't like lucky items. I actually hate them because I never find a reason to use them because I've just got better useful things and I just feel like such a waste by having these things so eh I guess if you were under level 80 it would be really uh good for you to have as something that once you get to 80 you can use it but eh and last but not least we have the benefits of the premier artifact so this will give you 50% chance to act as a sign of the porter a 10% xp gain for an hour allows you to refresh the cooldown of an aura very 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 important for if you are doing pvm that in itself is a great reason to buy the premier club be able to refresh your aura for free uh, every single day that's a really nice one to have as well and then it increases your hit chance by 20% on enemies below 15% health. Does not work in PvP and a 10% chance to stop Slayer count decreasing, meaning that you can do more Slayer task. We also received our ottomans with this as well, which the Prismic Stars are only 25% off. I'm going to wait for them to go to their big discount, but hey, it's nice to have them anyway. So there we go guys, that is everything that the Premier Club has to offer, and in my opinion, a definite yes. This is 100% worth it, whether you're buying it yourself or you're buying it through your bonds, it does come down to very, very, very good value for money. Remember, the Premier Pass and the Yak Track and the Keys pays for all of this itself, and the membership just comes along with it. Or think about it the other way around, you get free premier yak track with your membership just think of it whatever way you want to but at the end of the day it's going to save you money if you are going to play runescape for the next 365 days it will save you money by buying it now for example if you wanted to buy it month by month in australia it's around 13 dollars and that will cost you 156 dollars per year so 156 dollars minus the 89 dollars you're saving 67 dollars on membership alone crazy but there you go guys that has been my overview of the premiere club for 2021 if you like this video leave it a like if you're new around here subscribe but my name is jim and i will freaking see you later thank you to the patrons and the youtube members these last couple months have been really hard and without your support i don't know what would have happened so thank you guys so much slime medoix ari nomad p hat heavy delongy boy what up mr ezekiel rs mellow nate zara snap smith zulu kuma and our newest patreon draco you can become a patreon in the link down below thank you guys so much hey if you got nothing else to do why don't you check out this random video that youtube's gonna give you